Welcome to your ultimate pit stop, Piston Pundit. Today, we're going to delve into the world of electric vehicles and their battery performance. You might have heard that EV batteries don't always live up to the hype, but the extent of this discrepancy might surprise you. Reports suggest that the official range figures can plummet by a staggering 40%. So buckle up as we navigate through the seven key reasons why EV manufacturers might be keeping you in the dark about the true range of their vehicles. Starting at reason number seven, the art of deception. Automakers have been known to use various strategies to achieve impressive efficiency ratings. This has been a common practice with internal combustion cars, with minimal discrepancies between test results and real-world performance. However, the gap widens with electric vehicles due to numerous factors affecting battery performance. What Car Magazine conducted a test to uncover the actual differences between official figures and real-world numbers. The editor, Steve Huntingford, highlighted the need for an overhaul of the current testing system to provide drivers with realistic information. The tests, conducted under ideal conditions, revealed significant shortcomings. In response, What Car replicated real-world conditions and found the range to be on average 30% less than the WLTP claims. The Lexus UX300e was the worst performer, falling short of its claimed range by a significant 100 miles. The Lexus RZ450e and the Volkswagen ID7 Pro also showed significant shortfalls in their ranges. In conclusion, while consumers should be cautious about claimed ranges, the substantial gap between test and real-world results raises questions about the honesty of these claims. Reason number six, weather woes and battery blues. One of the major culprits behind the rapid depletion of EV batteries is their sensitivity to weather conditions. Cold temperatures in particular are a battery's nemesis. Why, you ask? Well, let's delve into the science behind it. The battery operates through a series of chemical reactions that generate electricity. In cold weather, these reactions slow down, leading to a dip in efficiency. Additionally, cold temperatures increase the internal resistance of the battery, making it harder for electricity to flow freely, which in turn leads to faster draining. Let's not forget that EVs require more energy in such weather conditions to heat the cabin and maintain optimal operating temperatures. The bottom line is, the range drops significantly in cold weather, forcing owners to charge their EVs more frequently. While the numbers may vary, a study by Recurrent showed that the EV range can drop by up to 32% in freezing temperatures. Reason number five, the temptation of torque. When it comes to advertising EVs, manufacturers love to highlight one thing, acceleration. Thanks to their electric motors, EVs offer instant throttle response across a broad RPM range, leading to impressive acceleration. On average, electric cars outperform their gas-powered counterparts in terms of acceleration. However, this comes with its own set of challenges. While EVs may accelerate quickly, they can't sustain it for long. Heavy acceleration significantly reduces the range of an EV because when you floor the pedal, the powertrain draws a substantial amount of energy from the battery. In essence, EVs are like a forbidden fruit. They offer thrilling acceleration, but you need to tread carefully if you want to reach your destination. Drivers need to pay more attention to efficient driving techniques, such as gradual acceleration and coasting to a stop, to preserve the driving experience. Before we delve deeper, do us a favor and smash that like and subscribe button. This helps us reach more auto enthusiasts just like you. Now let's shift gears and steer towards our next point. Reason number four, power-hungry in-car features. In EVs, the battery not only provides energy for the electric motors to keep the vehicle moving, but also powers other systems. Running various in-car features can contribute to real-world autonomy. Air conditioning, for instance, is the second biggest power drain in an electric vehicle. When it's cold outside, you need to crank up the heat inside the cabin, which draws a lot of energy from the battery. The same goes for high temperatures when you need to use air conditioning to cool things down. In addition to heating and air conditioning, other in-car systems also drain the battery. EVs are designed to be technological marvels, equipped with a plethora of tech features. 
All those massive screens and digital controls need a significant amount of energy to run. The fact that EVs are usually loaded with advanced tech, safety, and driver assistance systems doesn't help either. Reason number three, the highway conundrum. One revelation about EVs is that high-speed rides are not their forte. Contrary to gas-powered cars, a steady highway drive is not the most efficient way to travel in an EV. Instead, EVs are more energy efficient in stop-and-go traffic. This brings us back to the sensitivity of batteries to heavy acceleration and the regenerative braking system that recovers some energy when coasting and braking. However, EVs are not fans of high speeds. Not only can you not use tricks like regenerative braking to extend the range, but there are also other factors that contribute to faster battery drain. For instance, aerodynamics and increased drag during highway rides require more energy to overcome. Add wind to this, and we're back to discussing the vulnerability of batteries under heavy use. Moreover, driving at higher speeds for extended periods increases the battery temperature, which also reduces the range. Reason number two, the charging challenge. Remember that the maximum range is achieved with a fully charged battery. However, in many situations, you won't be able to charge your battery to 100%. Firstly, it takes a lot of time and is only achievable with a slow charger. If you prefer a less time-consuming DC fast charger, bear in mind that 80% is the best you can get, so reaching the claimed range is out of the question. Also, don't forget that batteries lose capacity over time. Most manufacturers offer an 8-year warranty on the batteries, guaranteeing that the battery will retain 80% of the original capacity during that period. Once the warranty expires, the capacity will likely drop even faster, significantly impacting the range and making once achievable distances a distant dream. Reason number one, towing and hauling, not EV's cup of tea. Batteries under heavy use, especially in pickup trucks, a key segment in the American auto industry, tend to falter. Electric pickups like Ford's have been tested and found wanting. AAA Automotive Engineering's test of the F-150 Lightning revealed a 30% drop in range when loaded with 1,400 pounds of sandbags. Motor Trend's towing test, with trailers ranging from 3,000 to 7,200 pounds, yielded disappointing results. The best they achieved was 115 miles with the lightest trailer. With the heaviest trailer, a full battery could only manage 90 miles. So, are electric pickups a viable alternative to gas and diesel-powered trucks? We have our doubts. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Don't forget to subscribe to Piston Pundit to stay updated on the latest vehicle updates and upcoming videos. See you next time.